Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to Backroads County. This is part 52. In the last part we placed a farm shop in our secondary farm and then I found out that I can't plant new trees. Which is sad because I wanted to make it nicer here and there in the center and then I started cutting down trees from the edge of the field because I find it annoying at some places of this map how narrow the trees are at the field that didn't help and but <laughs> somehow I made it rather ugly uh, because uh, yeah it became too empty but what I'm planning now is just removing some of those here they are so close together all the trees it doesn't need to be like that and then I downloaded the mod more trees and that allows me to have more trees on the map and sadly enough this is a script mod and only available for PCs and yeah but I thought I want to use it and it's sad for console players but sometimes I want to use some script mods. Okay now we have only two more trees here and I will replant some of the trees that I cut down before make maybe smaller trees or narrower trees that are not so wide that they don't disturb the field work but first now wish me good luck I try to build the trees here at this area and I hope it will work I never tried it before this mod I only knew it existed yes yes look it works wonderful and then maybe a tiny oak at the side of the farm shop oh yes yes I like those oak trees and then behind let's see maybe a birch no oh, a smaller one like so <laughs> we have one birch be beside our house and it started rather small when we bought the house it was a small birch maybe like so and over the time it grew which is normal and the birches grow quite fast and we have cut cut it smaller already 10 times or so but every year it grows back and back and back and it's so huge now and when we have storm it makes noise because it um, bashes onto the house like rush 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 and then when those uh, fruits of the birch, I think uh, it's something like the fruits or maybe the seeds and when they are ripe um, everything is full with them. If you open a window the whole room is covered with this uh, birch seeds or so and it's really quite <laughs> annoying. So yeah with this experience I wouldn't recommend to um, have birches at your house so but to have them here it's totally okay because they don't make this annoying seed um, stuff so this looks quite nice now later I will work on this here as well 
Or maybe I should just do it a little bit at least. Painting. Maybe I could use the forest ground. Or um, square, I should just maybe something like here. And then at the back. Like so. And then again some grass and bushes. Wait, it is nearly too much, but maybe I should just go like so. So first the painting. And I'm sure it will look very nice in the end, this secondary farm. Which will consist on of two parts, because we have this area here and then that area over there, which is, has a sa strange structure. But in the end, we will make something very nice and useful out of it. So, maybe some bushes. We can also add some bushes here and there. Because bushes are somehow easy, they don't disturb uh, when driving. So, okay, and now one or two trees. Maybe what about this one? Mm, maybe it's too massive, or no, this is in the electricity line. I wouldn't recommend this, and um, this is too big. Maybe that one. Yeah. And then a smaller one. Hmm, it's still a little bit too big. But I could place it inside the bushes or rather put some flowers instead of those huge bushes and only a small bush here and there. And then this small brother of the big hickory. Yeah. And here we need sm a small tree or small trees. Maybe this. And what about that? Oh, this is very, very small. No, too big. Here, yeah. And maybe like so. And then we would need to take care that they don't grow too big over time, but only in reality. Hmm, the arm is too big. So, small oak, too big. Maybe this one again. This is small enough. Yeah. And it looks much more friendly. And now we repair what I did here. And those spruces are still too narrow, I would say, but it's better than before. And I could cut them down to earn some money sooner or later. Here we could have rather high trees that are not so wide. And I think this is perfect for this. So, and then 
No, can be bigger. And what else do we have? Oh, we don't have spruces to plant. Okay. So, narrow and high. Sadly, we don't have poplars, but somehow a poplar wouldn't wouldn't fit because this is not such a watery area. I think this is too wide, or no, it isn't. It would be okay. So, because it's rather far away from the field. Not far away enough, but rather. And I think I solved this Ooh, is it empty problem. So, good, let's go over there. Yeah, it's better now, but they look a little bit too regular, so maybe I just add some tiny ones. To make it look a little bit more organic. Let's see. Yeah, like this, I think it's okay. Good. So. Yeah, and I have to think about what to do with this. Maybe later I will change all the dirt in this area where you drive around to this uh, asphalt. I think it's asphalt, what they have here. And But right now I still leave it as it is. Yeah. So I don't need to change everything in one go. And maybe I add some small trees in this garden area. Because it would look nice. So now we get the tractor and the trailer and bring in some eggs. Mm. I like it much more than before. It's really not halfway done, I would say. But still, it's already much nicer. I don't know whether you feel the same, but for me it's always... As soon as I placed some bushes and trees, then suddenly it looks much nicer to me much more friendly and so Maybe I should cut some of the disturbing trees um, that are so close at the fields. Because now as I started cutting down trees, I feel like it. So, now, 
Thanks. No, no, not like that. Like that is better. So, and it's heavy. And yes, I know it's again one of those few script mods that I use. The Lumberjack mod that makes me so strong. And obviously my muscle training that I do regularly. Okay. For real. Okay. And that allows me to carry those pellets. Now it's just 12 o'clock. Then I should have a look about the water and the distributor and so. And yeah, whether I should fill it up again, I, I think I should. So, now we go and deliver all the eggs. Okay. And let's activate the exhaling process. Come on, like so. So if you don't know this farm shop, I already said in the last episode that it works like a production and as you can see every product is transformed to money. And every hour the money is paid onto your bank account. So this money is um, an in-game currency that I invented for this uh, shop. And to, to make it possible to, to make a production out of it. And depending on what you sell. So the bread um, transforms into each bread into two money and the tomatoes, two tomatoes into one and a half money. So it depends on the in-game worth and the in-game yield, how much you get for, uh, for each product. And so you have to sell 1000 liter potato to get 200 money. And this money here, this is the same than the in the usual in-game currency. So here now everything is full of eggs. Only the decoration stays. So here we have some decoration that you have a variety even if you only sell eggs. And this 
The mechanism is like with the gardens or greenhouses, but instead of the plants, uh, this farm shop grows products in shelves. And yeah, as soon as I have a different product as well, for example, tomatoes, then we will see eggs and tomatoes. And if I have a third one, we will see eggs and tomatoes and strawberries. And so it fill up and the variety of stuff will change. Yeah, but it can only work with base game products, sadly, because I have to make a product line and a display product box that is, most of them is, are similar to the pellets that you get, but only half of them. But some, like the clothes, we only have ugly boxes and I made clothes myself here, knitted pullovers or t-shirts and yeah and the milk and the butter and so I, ch I made my own product shelf boxes and that they are not available for modded products but if you want to have somewhere where you can sell all your stuff like with your t this tiny market store you can sell all the stuff then you can use the same shop as a selling station um, but it doesn't have this mechanism with um, a product spawning I have them pre-decorated maybe I could just show it to you in the build menu selling points here we have the same farm shop maybe we go somewhere where we can look at it so we hey i want to go go closer i can't but you can see it we have tomatoes and potatoes and lettuce and stuff already in the front and it's quite heavily decorated all around the shop but uh, you don't see the products that you are actually selling in this shop like with this version and so each version has its advantages and its disadvantages and this one I like because it it is closer to reality and I guess you heard about it in FS25 there will be a function for selling stations that it will fill up um, in the selling station if you sell some things to the selling station and I'm really looking forward to it they will use a different mechanism because I misuse the greenhouse and production function for that and in FS25 it will have a dedicated function for this and I'm really really happy about this because then I can make all kinds of selling stations with this function I hope so it will be awesome yeah Okay, I think that's it for this episode. In the next part, I'm planning on maybe buying this um, big pig barn that I was planning and working on the real secondary farm, which is there. And this is only here. This is the extension of the secondary farm. And... Yeah, and then I hope that we get our first products, that we can add more um, different stuff into the farm shop. Okay, that's it for this episode. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.